up guys, I'm back with the time for episode 39 of series 3 of Iron Man, and since we're at one of the episodes with a 9 at the end, it's time for another recipe episode, so, and of course, like usual, I get it all written out, and I wrote it out just a bit ago, so I got it ready, Ivan's recipe, but of course, we do that after the battle, alright, so, back over here again, yeah, I did the first recipe episode over here, and the second one I did on the table out there. That was for both Joe and Steven, and now I'm back on track with it. So now I can go back to just one person doing it, and that's Ivan. Oh yeah, that's right, Ivan still held captive. So let me put him with Sid and Jack, because he's not going to be rescued till the next one. That's when he'll be back on their side again. The other leaders aside, they'll get him out. Alright. And actually, it's time for the recipe episode. You got your recipe ready, right, Ivan? Yes, I do. Great. I can't wait to see what it is. I'm already guessing what the, the first item is on your list. Since you're such a, a drunkaholic, I already know what it is. We'll get to it when we get there. Well, I don't see why you don't want to tell me now, but okay, I guess. Alright, let's start this battle. Who's leading against us? Dang it, all these bags and stuff up here. Oh my bullet. We can do it on this spot on the box. Alright. It landed on 8. So that's going to be Pete. Pete's leading. Alright, so it's going to be him and Joe. Alright. Oh, we start with the double already. Yes, I won that double with a 2-1 reversal. 3-6. Oh, they're falling. Well, first dice roll goes to me. Alright, God check. Alright, Sid uses one, so now he's down to two. Yes, I won that roll. Alright, doubled again. Two, that's four. You know what? We'll God check. Alright, now Pete uses one. They're bo both sides are down to two. Ha, you lost that one. Five of them. Five men left. You're gonna lose Pete. I'm gonna beat you. Wow. Sid hasn't even lost a guy yet. There hasn't been that many episodes where he's gone this far without losing anybody. I think there's only been like one or two times in, in any Army Men series where he pretty much won without losing a guy, but it rarely happens. I think it happened once in series two. I don't think um I don't know if it's happened in this one. Alright. Go out check. Alright, so Pete uses another one. Now he's down to one and Sid's still at two. Usually Sid would have the lower amount and use them all up first. He still could, but... Ah, oh, you won that one. Alright, so Pete has one left. Sid still has two. Four, that's eight. And yet the first roll that you win is a good number. Yeah, I'm going to get my finger up in your face. Yeah, I'll stick you with it. What? I'll stick you with that finger. I'll shove it up your butt. Come try and do it then. Come shove it up my ass then. And yet you're not moving. Whatever, let's continue. I want to actually hurry and get to this recipe. I want to see what Mr. Drunkhead over here wrote. You'll see, Sid. Yeah, and I bet you got some pretty good stuff on there. Alright, go check. Alright, both sides are down to one. Oh, we already landed on double. Oh, and I still won that, so since I already called the guard check and I won that, it's tripled. Yeah, and that doesn't do anything, because we don't have 12 guys on the field. 
And even if it was doubled, it still wouldn't have done anything because we don't have eight. You're lucky. Oh, another double. Without a Garchak being called. Damn it! Five. Wait, I don't have ten men. I only have eight. So you can't do nothing. You're actually lucky you still got that one guard check that you saved it. And same for me, because I still have one as well. And I won that roll. Come on, let's get that five. Three, you're down to two. Come on, get the two. One, you're down to one. Can't do double because Pete's side has one guy left. Stop landing on double. At least wait till the HP battle. Four of them. That's half of them. Now I'm down to four. Mush back. What the hell did you say, Sid? I don't know. I just made that up. Alright, let's get that one. Damn it! Oh, you better not get that four. One, I'm down to three. Alright, both sides still have one guard check left. I guess they're saving it for the HP battle as it looks. Get the one. Damn it. I know I get mad saying that I don't need the one, but that's it if it's earlier in the battle when there's still a bunch of guys. If it's like close to it or like this, then I do need it. <sighs> Crap, you better not get the three. Ha, you missed. Yeah, we got another shot though, bitch. Yeah, you won't get it. Watch. You're not going to get the three. See, told you. You missed. That was close, though. Yeah, but still, you, you didn't land on it. So it doesn't count. Okay, you can't do double. Come on. Stop landing on doubles. Yes, let's get the one. Damn it, so close. Landed on two. We got another shot though, come on. Yes, got him! Alright. Now is Joe gonna come with you, Pete, or is it gonna be only you? Only you. Alright. And Grace, that means only I go and Jack stays. No, better not get the three. Don't get the three. You're not going to get it. See? You missed again. I'm going to get it eventually. Yeah, not if I drain your HP first. Yeah, like you'll do that. Just watch. Don't come crying to me when I actually am right that I do beat you. You'll know that I'll be in your face, right? Yeah, and then I'm going to push you out of my face and then we're going to get into a big bloody brawl. Which, speaking of which, we haven't even been in one in some time. We haven't had a brawl going on. Yep, I remember. There were plenty of brawls in Series 2 that I did. I, I've done a few in this one, but not a whole lot. I mean, I just haven't found, like, a scenario where I could set up a huge brawl. But don't worry, it will happen. Probably not this episode. Maybe at least a small fight or something. A one-on-one -on -one brawl, but not like a full huge brawl involving everybody. Because then I'd have to get really violent for that one. Alright. Alright. Four, you're at 26. Now you're at 20. And I'm gonna use my final guard check. Alright, Sid uses the last one. And he still ran out first, even though Pete got lower. Alright, Pete still has one, though. 
Oh, well, this could be good if I win it. Damn it! Yeah, your god check got canceled out, so you just wasted it. Don't you dare try and call me stupid. Because guess what? I am not a stupid. I wasn't going to say that. Yes, you were. What are you, a mind reader? Maybe not. But still, you could have said that. Well, I wasn't going to say that, okay? Just roll the damn die. What are you going to get? You missed anyway. Oh, really? Did I miss now? No, but that wasn't all three of them. You took out two of them. So I still have one guy left. So it's not over for me yet. I didn't say it was. Why do you gotta assume everything we say? Because I know you guys too well. I've been with you guys for a long time. I can pretty much try and get on to what you're gonna say. Oh, what? You still wanna go back to that point? Were you thought I was going to call you a stupid? Maybe. You are going to go back on it, aren't you? No. Well, let's go. We got to finish this battle. I want to hurry and get to this recipe that Ivan wrote. You're not going to get that last guy anyway. Because now you're losing HP. Alright, so that's four. You're at 16. You're not going to get the one. See? You missed. Yeah, we can't do double because Sid has one guy left. You're at 15. You'll be here a long time. You're not going to get the one. Ah, oh, so close though. Yeah, still missed. And look at that, I pulled a 5-6 reversal on you. You're at 13 now. I'm telling you, I'm gonna beat you. You're at 9 now. Four, you're in the range. Here we go. Get the four. You're not gonna get the four. Ah, dang it. You're at one though. Okay, so now we definitely can't do doubles anymore in this one. Well, actually, Pete can still use his last one when Sid comes in for HP. At least if he can win to take out his HP. Or Sid will win and take out his last remaining one. You're not going to get the one. I proved you wrong, dude. What were you saying? Yeah, good for you. Good for you, bitch. Hey, don't start calling me that. You just happened to make a wrong guess. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to finish you off anyway. Because you're at one. And I'm just entering. So, prepare to lose. And prepare to die. Dang it, I'm at 28. Can't do double now. Regularly can't do double, but Pete can still use the guard check to go for a chance. Because he still has one and Sid doesn't have any left. I pulled the reversal on you again. Now let's get that one. You're not going to get the one. See? Oh yeah, now you want to pull that on me. Okay, tough guy. Let's go then. I'll deck you in your lip. Not if I do it to you first. Now you're at 24. Yeah, I know I am. Alright, 20. You know what? I'm gonna use it. The last guard check. Alright, so now both sides are out. You just wasted it because you lost it. 
So, you are a stupid if you lose this. If I get a one right now, that proves you are a stupid for wasting that last guard check. If I get the one. And watch me get it. Ha, you missed. Yeah, you got lucky. Because if it had landed on one, I would have gotten you. Well, you did it. Now I'm at 16. All right, let's get the one. Damn it. Fourteen. Twelve. Oh. Oh no, I'm in the range. I'm at six. You're getting these lucky rolls, man. I swear to God, if you win, I'm gonna kill you. Cause I had such a huge lead over you, and you still sat at one HP. Just like in that one other battle. I thought that was you who did it. Well, I don't know who did it. If it was me or whoever was leaning against me. But now you're trying to pull it off, I see. Guess what? It's not going to happen. Yeah, watch me prove you wrong. You prove me wrong, I'm going to kill you. Oh yeah, you always say that, and yet you never do it. Then I'll kill one of your men. Go ahead. We still got plenty. What? You're actually going to want to give up one of your own men? Not really. But it's not one of us, at least. Okay, so I guess you are not as stupid. You're actually catching on with it. Exactly, I'm not one. Then don't try and think I'm one either. When did I ever say you were one? Oh, uh, you said it earlier in the battle. Hello. Whatever, man. You're going to lose. No, you are. I'm going to get the one. And I'm going to get the six. No, one of us has to get our number. So yeah, prepare to meet your fate. Ah, uh, we're both at one now. Gotcha! And I said that you were going to meet your fate. And I just proved you wrong. Yeah, bravo, you sick bastard. Hey, don't be like that. Aren't you going to give a congratulations? Yeah, sure. Congratulations for winning. Well, that's not very nice. Well, I said congratulations. You could have said it a little more nicer. When do you care about being nice? You always act like a jerk to everybody, Sid. Oh, I'm the jerk? Yes. Duh. You are the jerk, Sid. Okay, really? See, you're the one who's being a stupid now. Because you don't remember all the times you acted jerky in Series 1, Series 2, this one? And when do you care about being nice? Saying that, oh, let's give a proper congratulations. Well, I've realized I don't have to act like a jerk all the time. I mean, jerk, jerky people have their nice moments too. Right, but still... Before, before though, you were a straight-up jerk, hardly showing any niceness to us. Well, guess what? Ever since we became friends after the end of Series 2, I've had a bit of niceness in me. Then why are we back to being rivals then? Already this far in Series 3. Because of the incident that happened back in the first episode. With you. Because you were the first guy. The first arc. Yeah, whatever, man. So, yeah. Anyways, now that we got that battle out of the way, Ivan... Get your recipe. I want to see what you put on it. Yeah. I'm telling you though, Jack, he's probably not going to like it. What are you talking about, Ivan? The very last item on the list. You'll see. What are you telling the Jack? Uh, I'm just telling him about the recipe. Well, you better not be being mean to him. I wasn't. No, I really said he wasn't. Okay. I'll believe you there, Ivan. Let's see what you got. And the name of your recipe is... 
Drunkaholic Boozalicious Meal. Of course, you would name it that. What? What else would I have named it? Pete already used extravaganza. Yeah, but why'd you have to make it references to, to drunkness and beer and alcohol? And speaking of which, I knew it! Alcohol and beer are the first items. You sick man. I knew you would have had that as the first items all along. Yeah, congratulations. Like, no shit, Sherlock. Why is it called Drunkaholic Boozalicious then? And yeah, you got nothing to say. I actually made you speechless. Whatever, man. Let's see what else you got. Now this is where the weirdness begins. Brass knuckles. What? Why would I need to eat brass knuckles? I could wear them on my hand and hit you with it. The pointy things. Take them out of the car. Paint. Paint was already used before. Like, really? We're going back to that? I'd rather huff the stuff than, than eat it. Yeah, then you'll be high on it. I don't care. It's better than eating it. Clay. Clay? Why clay? You're gonna try and mold me into a clay ball? Form a claymore? No. Then why did you put clay on here then? Because I wanted to. It's like the tradition with every recipe. Put something weird in it. Yeah, yours is already weird, alright. Beef. Okay, you actually put a, a food item in there. Okay. Like ground beef. But still, added with alcohol and beer, and especially paint, that's just an odd combination. But still, if you're making hamburgers, that's nice. Monopoly insurance. What? Are you talking about the Monopoly money? Why would I need to eat money? Are you really that sick? Where I have to eat Monopoly money? That would probably be one of the last things I'd eat, as a last resort, if I didn't have any food. Yeah, and then it'll be worth tons of money. Oh yeah, just because I eat the eat the freaking money means I'm worth a lot. Don't you want to be worth a lot? Who's gonna buy me? There, there isn't anybody who would buy me. There wouldn't be any more money anyway. So what's the deal? Anyways, let's see what else you got. Bullets? Bullets, really? You're gonna try and make me eat bullets and make them all shoot out of my butt and everything? Or try and hit me and everything, they'll come flying out of my mouth? At least that'd actually be a good thing, because I can shoot you with it. Yeah, come try and do it then. And yeah, you don't. Well, I gotta finish reading this recipe. I wanna see what else you put in here. Bread, butter. Okay, more food items. That's kind, kind of normal. But with all this, like I said with the ground beef, with all this other stuff mashed in, it's not gonna taste right. You do realize that, right, Ivan? Yeah, I do. But, like I said, the tradition, we always gotta put something weird in it. It's not like just a normal meal. I'll show you normal. Yeah, you are gonna show us normal. You are the jerk of the group. And what do you mean normal? That's your normal, acting like a jerk. Hey, I could be nice too, you know. Well, you act like a jerk most of the time. You hardly show much of your niceness and kindness. That's because sometimes you guys piss me off. That's why I don't do it. If you didn't anger me so much, maybe I would be more nicer. No, you bring it upon yourself sometimes too, Sid. Oh, how? How do I bring it upon myself? Are you trying to be a stupid? Your jerkiness is causing backlash at you from us. And what you did back in the first episode of taking that... Of what you did, trying to anger Pete like that in the first episode... That was harsh, dude. Well, I don't care if it was harsh. That incident is over with. We're at episode 39. That was back in episode 1. Anyways, let's see what else you got. Emeralds? Why would I need to eat emeralds? Eat diamonds? 
You talking about emeralds from Emerald City, the Minecraft emeralds, or what? Probably Minecraft, but a little bit of a touch of the Emerald City. Yeah, like it's gonna be something to take it. Chocolate, okay, chocolate. That's that's a normal food item. So, not much to say there. Putty, putty. Why would I need to eat putty? That's for fixing stuff, patching up holes and walls and stuff, or fixing little things. That's what the putty's for. Cloth. Oh, you want me to eat cloth? Like a tablecloth, a rag, clothing? I didn't say it was clothing. It could mean anything. You didn't put what type of cloth. Is it a tablecloth, a rag, leather and clothing? Okay, it could be any of those. Okay, there, you happy? I guess. Wires. Oh. Oh no, this is almost like the jumper cables thing again. You're gonna try maybe wires and electrocute myself in the mouth. I'd rather wrap them around you and choke you on your neck. You wanna try and snap your fingers at me trying to get at me? I'll snap your neck. Come do it then. Like I have them right here. Come and get it then. Helium, we already went over helium before. That one was already there before. Like, yeah, it's pretty much not much different to say about that. You're gonna try and make me have a high-pitched voice. At least it's not the one that makes you go all the way up and you can't really come down until it wears off for a bit. That actually would be nice to fly around, but still, trying to make my voice higher-pitched. You're gonna try and make my voice sound like a chipmunk and higher-pitched just to embarrass me. Believe me, I've already seen Pete go through that you know I'm standing right in front of you, right? Yeah, I know you're there. I'm not blind. A stick? A stick? Really? Why would I need to chew on bark from sticks? I could whack you with it. Ink and a pen. Oh yeah, you're gonna make me swallow ink. You're gonna try and poison me with it, and of course, you can't forget the pen. Pen and ink. What a combo. Water? Okay, now you actually add water to it. So not much to say there. A horn? What kind of horn? A trumpet horn? A bugle horn? The little can that's an air horn? Probably the trumpet. Probably a trumpet horn. Yeah, sure. You're gonna make that little trumpet noise go out of me. It's gonna be like, and everything. Air. Air, really? How are you gonna put that in it? It's all around us! And didn't somebody else put that before? Like, somebody else put it in there. Was it you, Peter, or was it Steven and Joe? I don't know, actually. Well, seriously, add that to me. All that's gonna do, then, if you just add that, is fill me up. You're gonna try and make me an airbag, aren't you? Nose. Ropes. Outlets. Electrical outlets. Again, with electrocution, just like with the wires, except this is with outlets. Okay, the outlets don't cause that much electrocution, dude. It's just a little plug thing. Yeah, but if you have it in the wall for some time, it could emit electrical shocks off of it. Thus, shocking my mouth. A head crusher? What the hell is a head crusher? This. Oh yeah, like a little slap to the head. No, actually there is a little device we, that we can come up with called that. What, you're gonna make my head pop off? No, it's just gonna hurt your head. You'll have a headache. Oh yeah, great. That's great. That's one of the first things that I need is a headache.
M&M's. Now you want to add candy. And peanut butter too at that. Right after it. Buttons? Buttons from shirts? Are you serious? Maybe. It's buttons from shirts, isn't it? Not like a little button presser thing. No, it's the buttons from shirts. Okay, maybe it is. No, it is the item. Not maybe, it is. Chess pieces? Are you crazy? Why would I need to eat chess pieces for? I can just use them to attack you. I'll send the castle rook to run you over and ram you. The horse to stomp on you. The bishop to make his way up and grab you and and throw you out. The pawns to stomp you down. And then the queen and king to barrage into you and murder you. Especially the queen because she moves all around the board. And then you got the king to do the final execution. A skull? A skull, really? Why do I need to eat a skull? It's just a dead man tell no tales. A sponge? Okay, really, you want me to eat a sponge? Especially if you have soap on it, it's gonna make me get the hiccups. Turkey. Turkey? What do you think this is? Thanksgiving? You can have turkey on any day, Sid. Not just Thanksgiving. Well, yeah, but it's mostly on Thanksgiving. Yeah, no shit, dude. We know that. Why did you put it on there? Because I was coming up with things to put on there, and I just happened to come across that at that time. So, yeah, that's why turkey's on the list. Pudding? Oh, God. Pudding was on there before. The fucking pudding! It's chocolate pudding, isn't it? Yeah. Just so we don't have to go for that whole confusion of asking stuff again. It's chocolate pudding. Alright, so that's one column. Now let's see what you got on the other column. A parasite? Really? A parasite? Like a little tick or a flea or something? Bring out the little parasite! Cigarette smoke, that was in the last one with Steven and Joe. The cigarette smoke was like, you're gonna make me inhale and you're gonna make me suffocate. Plus, w with that added, you're gonna give it a weird smell. So, yeah, who'd want to face that? Flash grenades, flash grenades. You're gonna cause a light beam and then an explosion. You're gonna blow up your meal. Not necessarily. It's gonna get inside of you. Yeah, like it's gonna destroy me. Like I'm gonna eat that crap. You will. No, I won't. We don't even eat the things anyway. We didn't even have the last two ones cooked. Cause that's not how it goes. We just make it up like as if it's our own recipe. Web fluid power up. Oh really, what the hell is that? A web fluid power up. Is it gonna give you like Spider-Man powers? Make you shoot web fluids out of your wrist. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be Spider-Man. Bones? What kind of bones? Chicken bones? Yeah, chicken bones. Then why don't you put the things in front of it then, what it's supposed to be, like with some of these other items? Like seriously, how many times do I have to get onto you for that? What's next? A fishbowl head. Okay, where did you get a fishbowl head from? That cover of that book? Where the dude gets his head swapped out and it's a fishbowl head and he has a little hat on and a little suit? That little book? You got it from that, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Ice cream. Again, you just put ice cream. You don't put chocolate ice cream. Vanilla, strawberry, you don't put a flavor. You just put ice cream. It could be any, okay? Like, I could go and pick it out. Well, go ahead and do it then. 
but we ain't gonna do it right now. Anyways, continue reading it. Well, I'll continue reading it, all right? Then afterwards, I'm gonna shove this thing so far up your butt, you're gonna shit it back out. No, that's not gonna happen. We're gonna save these recipes. What, you're gonna cook them all up then at the end of the series? No, it's just like, like I said, it's just actually if we actually came up with a recipe. It's not really doing it. Why can't you get that through your head? Oh, I got it through there, all right. Unlike you. Uh, why would I not be able to get it through? I'm the one who wrote the recipe, dipshit. Don't call me that. Whatever. Continue reading it. Coins? Yeah, the whole rack of coins. If before you ask, Sid. The whole rack. Pennies. Nickels, dimes, quarters, half dollars. Oh, you mean those little golden coins, right? Yeah, those. A globe? Oh, yeah. Make me get the globe. I'm gonna travel the world. I'm on top of the world anyway. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. You wanna? You want me to prove it to you right now by decking you in the face? Come do it then. No, I gotta continue reading it. Then stop trying to threaten me while you're reading the recipe. Finish it then. But finish it! <laughs> Fine, I'll finish it. A guillotine? What? You're gonna try and use that on me? Cut the head off? How about I cut off another soldier's head? C cut off the head! Bombs? What? Again, just like with the flash grenades, you're gonna blow up your meal with that. Blue hair. Blue hair. What, are you trying to turn me into an anime character? By making me have blue hair? You're trying to make me be an anime character who has blue hair. A microphone? Yeah, a mint reverberating sounds inside me. A canteen. Why well, eat the thing? I can drink the water out of it. Or whatever the hell you put in it. Dots? Yeah, connecting all the dots. Oh yeah, I'm gonna connect the dots all over your face. I'm gonna draw all over you with pencil. I'll, I'll set up a dot map on you right now. And I'm gonna connect them then. You don't have a pencil on you. I'll get one. Jeez, you're so naive. You're the one who's naive, Sid. Oh, really? Yes. Now shut up and read the recipe. Yeah, I'm gonna make you shut up and dance. What was that? I pulled guns out on you. You ain't pulling... You ain't pulling stuff. Now put them away and get to reading the recipe. Get back to reading it. A wrecking ball? Yeah, I'm gonna use it to crush you with it. Wreck your buildings. Amphetamine? Are you trying to drug me? Yeah, I am. That could actually calm you down. No, that wouldn't. You probably don't even know what the hell amphetamine is. Well, I had to come up with something to put on there. And that's one of the things that came to mind. So I'll deal with it. What's next? A pie? Again, you don't put what flavor. Apple pie, cherry pie, pumpkin pie, pecan pie. Which one is it? Okay, I'll actually pick them there. It will be apple pie. Prison dirt? Why would I eat prison dirt? I'm not locked up in a jail cell, you know. I'll make you a jail punk. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna make you a jail punk. Since when did you make that a word? It's simply combining it together. And in fact, it could be one. Someone who could be there could be considered one. A jail punk. End of story. Yeah, I'm gonna make you a jail punk, all right? Now get to reading it. Taproot? What? Are you talking about the band? No! 
asshole. I'm talking about the plant, the root in the plant, the taproot plant. Where the hell did you come up with the band? Because there's a band named that. Yeah, they're an awesome one though. Yeah, they are. But I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the taproot plant. Seriously, where the hell did you come up with the band on that one? Well, it could have been anything like you said. No, that one's obviously the plant. Well, you didn't put taproot plant. I didn't have to. I didn't have to put plant. You know it's the plant. It's one of the roots in the plants. So yeah, taproot plant. Cocaine. Oh god, not cocaine again. That one was already there on one of the other lists. We ain't going for that crap again. Blast beats? Oh, like instrumentation blast beats. You're gonna make that go all around inside me. Pop rocks? Yeah. Yeah, sure, I'll eat the pop rocks and they'll pop in the mouth. A China man? What the hell is a China man? It's a little figure, I guess. You actually don't know what it is? Then why did you put that? I had to come up with something, okay? Continue reading it. Because I actually know you're almost at the end. Fine. Keys? Yeah, like I need keys to unlock the inner sanctum in my chest. Steam? Side. Again with that. You're just gonna build like bodily steam inside me as that goes on. Again, like before when I was put, it's already emitting off the food anyway. A rib cage? What kind of rib cage? What kind of rib cage are you talking about, Ivan? It, it could be like an animal's rib cage for one. Alright, cookies. Okay, now you have to go back to a normal food item with cookies. You go back to a normal food item with cookies. And I'm gonna say chocolate chip. Yeah. A shot glass. What? Oh, now you actually put another drunk thing in there. Because you'll make me drink so many shot glasses that I'll be drunk. You'd have to drink a whole bunch of them. Yeah, I know that. A triggered look. Yeah, I have a triggered look on me right now. Because you have <coughs> angered me with this one. And finally, Sid. What? Hell no. This is not the first recipe all over again. I know that, because you put me on there, Pete. Well, it's not my recipe this time. Yeah, I know it's not, but you put me on that first one. First you put my men, then you put me last. And now Ivan's done it again. So great. Yeah, I bet you're so triggered now, aren't you? Yes, I am. Why the hell are you twitching, Sid? Cause I'm pissed. Fuck! Yeah, bet you're so precious now with your little meal and so satisfied with it. No, I'm not satisfied with it. Change it. I'm not changing the last one. You're not gonna kill me anyway, cause you don't do the cooking. So joke's on you, pal. Yeah, like it ever will be. You said you don't cook the things. No, but still, we did that as a way to scare you. Well, I'll admit, the first time, it actually did scare me. The first time, the first time when Pete did it, it actually did scare me. Now, it just angers me. So congratulations, Ivan. You made me so much more redder than I am. I'm about ready to knock your skull in. Come do it then. You've been saying these threats all along, and yet you don't do it. Because I had to finish the recipe first. Now that I'm done with the recipe, I can go ahead and do it. Bring it on then. Well, I'm going to bring it on, alright? Come here, you little bitch. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm going to kill you for making that recipe. Jack, help me. 
You're going back in the bag, dude. Even while being hostage, you still try and plan to come up with some freaking weird recipe such as that. If that's what your method was to piss me off, congratulations. You succeeded a 100%. Yeah, Sid. Yeah. And I got more things ready for you when I get ready to write my recipe. Oh, good for you. Don't play like that with me, dude. I will really smack you in right now. We had our fight. We can continue fighting again. Just because one fight happens doesn't mean another one can't. We don't have to wait till another episode. We can go ahead and start a huge brawl right now. So yeah, let me ask you to do a couple things. One, get out of my ring. This isn't your ring. I don't care, it could be. Get back in the bag. And go think about what you've done, or else I'm going to make a smackdown with... Smackdown right here with you. Right here, right now. So yeah, none of, I'm telling you, none of you are gonna scare me, me, me with any recipes anymore. Like, you are not scaring me with it. And none of you are gonna try and get the jump on me either. Especially ones like, the ones I'm about to name. Not Pete. Not Steven. Not Joe. David. Robert. Or not even Kurt. No one. None of you are going to try and attack me hard anymore. So yeah. Now get in... So yeah, now get in the bag and get out of my damn ring. This is not your ring. I don't give a shit whose ring it is. It's my area now because I won the battle and you didn't. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever, that's what you always say, Ivan. I'm not the only one, but that's not what we always say. Well, pretty much most of the time it is. So get in the bag. You're still getting held. Yeah, we'll get back in the bag, all right. I'm going to beat you up in the bag. <laughs> like, you're going to do that. We don't fight in the bag. The bag is where all the peace happens. Even when I'm in there with you guys, nothing happens. The bag is the peaceful area. Whatever. Now, come on, Jack. Let's pack it up. Get ready for the next episode tomorrow. And we're going to see what we do to him. Alright, so that's the end of the episode. I'll see you guys later tonight for the others. For the recap and the fanfic reading.